Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. <laughs> I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic, <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ha! Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. Uh, <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté! <laughs> Hello! Hello, sir! <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe <laughs> I can make you immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this. You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I, I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. <laughs> Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, <laughs> it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, Imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate! Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo! You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunt. Eight perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that.
another one down. I'm getting the mastery of this. Show them one more to prove. But I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. The, the, the demonstration's not over yet. Any fool can explore the sitting dock. <laughs> Let me just reload. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course. But what a thing to fund. What an opportunity. Look who rules the seas. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you. Thank you. What is that? <laughs> it is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. <laughs> no, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab, back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. <laughs> it is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Uh, <coughs> and I hope you will forgive my European course.
Good girl. Mr. Morgan. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be rich. Perhaps, but uh, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan. Will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algie Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And? That's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Okay. What happened, man? My horse threw me, and I landed on my foot, and I heard a snap. My leg's all numb. My leg, it hurts so bad! Hands up now! Do it! I ain't gonna repeat myself! <sighs> Goddamn bastard. Okay, okay, time to go.
have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. We can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you gotta be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. You take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just uh, handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. <laughs> now come on. Let's get us that debt. Uh, this is as fast as I can go. Someone's here, boy. Oh. Wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there. Go fix us a drink. Another one, Pop? Don't give me no talk, boy. Just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Mm. Now, where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, mister. It's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. Ah! I cut your damn head! Clean off! I don't want another beating. Son, I want to get out of here, but I can't until I find some money. There's some in my footlocker. I I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky. I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself. That's it, I told you! Find nothing else here. Please just leave.
You got the money, go, won't you? Get down and cover now! Hello again, stranger. What a surprise. Close ranks, man! You got to succumb here!
But I didn't go how I wanted it to. Easy now. You gonna uh, hit your horse there, bud? You stay here for now, girl. So that's upstairs. Look at the ledger. How you holding up? See if there's anything new. Somewhere between crappy and crap. Sorry to hear that. Let's go see Mary Beth.
Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. Look at you. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. <laughs> You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? Well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. All right, head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. I had hair pomade. When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. Can you talk? Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But, like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. <laughs> of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. <coughs> you especially. Thank you. I swear, half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Yeah. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir. We're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducements. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. <laughs>
kind of gun did he have? Oh, double action. Do you mind? Shit's annoying. I don't have shit. It's okay, Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was. I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, Miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that uh, bastard. Uh, the one in front of the vault. Bring him back alive. I ain't done with All right. Get after them. I like this horse. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, you're gonna pay! All of you! Please shoot down, please. Down the hill, to the water. We're coming for you, you bastards! Oh, there they are, by the shoreline! Oh, look at these cowards! Oh my god, I'll shoot him. To regret what you did. Got it. Now keep on the others. Yep. We can't let these animals get away. Are you out of your mind now? All right. I think that last one's the ball. Last of women. We'll take him back to Tilly. You don't know who you're dealing with. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Go on! Rope that bastard! You're making a big mistake! Come on! Get him, Arthur! Shut up! I can't fucking drag him. All right. What? I think the? that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take it back to Tilly. She's stuck in T-pose. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Yeah. Come on. Get him, Arthur. Shut up. I had him, it wouldn't let me drag him anymore. Stay away from me! I'm warning you! You're making a big mistake! Come here! That's it. Now make sure you tie him up real good. I'll kill you! Make these nice and tight. All right, you bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. Do you 
have the first idea what you're getting into. Oh, you man, coward. Go to hell. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? Can I hit oh, him again, Anthony please? Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the Undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you? Shut bastard. Up. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you going to do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. So he's still alive then? Ah. I guess. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You Foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. I'll take him out. Sadly, I agree with you. <laughs> Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Yeah. The fuck? They're just gonna leave me here? Let me loot him. What do you have on him? Well, I guess I got nappy. Let's move. Don't kick me. Fools up to. It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault, the darky white. 
Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come on. And I'll right. tell you, you lily livered. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. No. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. <laughs> Just shut up. You shut up! Done. Stocking up. Okay. for the horse good enough for you okay last for years unnatural if you ask me done Yep. This here store's my whole life. That's why I drink. You looking for something else? How's your friend getting on? Not something the lady 